Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to increase the resolution of a picture. We'll start off with a pixelated photo and then give it a higher pixel density. Of course, you'd always be better off taking a high quality picture right from the camera, but if all you have to work with is a low quality photo, then this technique can at least help make the picture a little bit better. If you'd like to follow along with the same photo I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. Before we increase the resolution of this photo, I want to zoom in so you can see just how pixelated this picture is. If we zoom into the eye, you can see that this is a very pixelated picture. We're going to open this picture in a new document so we can increase the resolution and then compare the increased resolution to this original document. To do this, we're first going to copy the picture by pressing Command or Control C. Then we'll come up to the top to File, New from Clipboard. Now we've opened the exact same pixelated picture in a new document. Now it's time for us to increase the resolution of this photo. To do this, we'll come up to the top to Document, Resize Document. In this dialog box, we can increase the resolution of our photo. Currently, our photo is 426 by 596 pixels. Let's try increasing the size to around 2000. As you can see, when we change the width of our photo, the height is automatically changed also because we have this lock turned on. You can turn the lock off and on by simply clicking on it. The next thing we're going to want to change is the resampling method. Currently, it's set to bilinear, but if we click on this box, we have more options. As we go down this list, the resampling methods will make our resized document sharper. Personally, I like to use bicubic because it applies a nice amount of sharpness to our picture without making it too sharp. Then just make sure resample is checked on and then you can press resize. It looks like nothing has happened at first, but if we zoom in, we'll see that our picture has become less pixelated. Of course, our picture still isn't perfect, but we can see that it's looking much better than the original photo. At this point, we're done increasing the resolution of our photo. But if you want to make your high resolution picture look even better, it might be a good idea to apply some extra sharpening to certain parts of the picture. To do this, we'll first come back to our document with the increased resolution. Then we're going to click on the Live Filters icon and apply a High Pass Filter. Then just bring up the radius a little ways. Now we can exit out of this dialog box. To apply the sharpening to our photo, we're going to select the High Pass layer and then change its blend mode from Normal to Overlay or Soft Light. Right now, this sharpening is being applied to our entire picture. But in most cases, you'll only want the sharpening to be applied to certain parts of the photo. To do this, we're first going to invert the high pass filter so it's being applied to nothing. You can do this by pressing Command or Control I. Then we can press B for the paintbrush and make sure we're painting in white. Now we just need to paint over the parts of the photo that we want to be sharpened. In this case, we want both of the eyes to be sharpened. Now we've sharpened both of the eyes without making the rest of the picture sharper as well. Depending on the picture you're working on, you might want to apply sharpening to other parts of the photo. And if you ever want more or less sharpening applied, just double click on the high pass filter icon and then you can change the radius. By combining a high pass filter 
With increasing the resolution of your document, you can noticeably increase the quality of your pictures.